Hi guys, it's a little crazy here. Um, I am shooting from my bedroom because everyone's home, as they should be. Um, and I'm gonna forget to look at that little dot, so whatever. <laughs> How's everybody doing? How are, are y'all surviving? Um, I am not surviving. No, I am surviving. I have it so easy compared to what so many people are going through. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start with the giveaways because I don't want to forget. So um, the first chart that I was giving away from the last video, and by the way, thank you for all your sweet comments and kind words. Um, I didn't realize that we would all be in such a big mess so quickly. Okay, the first chart that I had to share from Trinka was America. And I've done the YouTube um, comment picker um, for the word America. There were eight commenters that said America. And the winner is Cheryl Teekles, T-E-A-K-L-E-S. -E um, Cheryl, I will comment on your comment um, so that I can get your address. And let's see, I'm going to do a search now for the faith chart, which was um, it's missing. It must still be in there. There it is. It's the little house needleworks. Try that again. Here we go. Little house needleworks. And the winner for that is Cassandra Casto. I'd like to sit faith. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, Cassandra. I will comment on yours. And the last one, it was for the Candy Cane Wishes by With the Needle and Thread. And the word for that was candy. There were 15 commenters. Let's see. And the winner is, hey, Jenna. Jenna Fortner. I know Jenna. Um, she's local to me and we went to high school together um, and then we went to church together. Our little girls were born about the same time. Sorry, my hair's gone all wonky. And um, it's just weird. That's so funny. She's really into um, the Project Life scrapbooking app and um, she got me back into that because it's digital scrapbooking and I just I haven't done any scrapbooking. And um, anyway, so she got me back into that and then she said she used to cross stitch so I guess I kind of got her back into cross stitch because she needed another hobby besides scrapbooking. So anyway, Jenna, I will um, get with you and get this mailed out to you since we can't meet up right now. <laughs> okay, so um, there's so much going on um, with the, the coronavirus. We homeschool, but um, this is a whole new level of um, being home. Um, we do go out for walks and bike rides just because we live right next to an, um, a defunct golf course and pond. Um, so we are spending lots of time outdoors away from other people. Um, but my husband is working from home. That is stressful. <laughs> we have a small house and so um, he's on the phone a lot and um, working most of the day. And it's just, it's a struggle. But he's been very patient and I'm thankful for that. Um, I tried to make a grocery order today because I'm um, I go to the grocery store every couple of days. I don't really plan ahead. I'm a poor planner, and um, we're running out of things. So I made a grocery order a couple of days ago for pickup. You know where they just put it in your trunk, and half of it was not available. And so, and it, I wasn't really thinking when I made that order. So it was a really small order. So I made another order this morning. My husband and I were rushing to get it in before all the spots filled up for delivery this time. And all of the meat was refunded and several of the other things were refunded. So unfortunately, my husband had to go out and find a grocery store to get the last of the things. Um, he had to go to his office while no one is there and pick up some things from that he um, wasn't able to get last week when they closed. Um, so anyway, it's just weird. It's a weird time for everyone I know, and I know everyone's just struggling. My grandbaby had his first birthday yesterday, and I wasn't able to attend. 
Um, so that's a bummer. And I don't know, it's just weird. And I know you all are, are feeling the very same thing, so we're all in this together. Is that a high school musical song? I need to find that. Um, my older girls would recognize that. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to get into the fun stuff. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've been doing uh, while we haven't been there. We've been doing school, but non-traditional school. Um, so we've been doing a lot of science, a lot of um, art, taking advantage of some of the resources that so many generous people have been putting out there, um, story times and art tutorials. And um, the Science Mom does a great YouTube tutorials. And she did one, it's called Quarantine with her husband, the math dad. And it's fantastic. It's wonderful science and your kids will learn so much. And so we've been watching that. We've been doing um, drawing and painting and playing a lot of board games for learning um, is how we've been surviving. So I'll show you what I've been doing. I didn't bring it all in here. I did this. The other day, the McHarper Manor talked about um, watercoloring. So my daughter, we did the elephants. I'm sure you saw that on my Instagram. But this is, I did this on my own. It's from, I forget who it is, the pigeon, pigeon lettering. But she has a book, it's botanical line drawing. And so I sort of did this and then just watercolored it. My sister said she wanted to hang it in her bedroom. So that's going to her. That was fun. And then, um, other than that, I've been reading a lot. So I have a Kindle. Um, we've been listening to audiobooks. If you don't have Audible or you would like to support a local bookstore to you, um, you can do Libro FM and then you can choose your bookstore from the drop down of, of that you'd like to support in your membership. Will some of that will go to them um, to support your local indie bookstores. So do that. Um, and then I've been stitching. So let me show you my whips, my current whips. I'm doing a whip go thing. Um, and so I had to finish and I'll show you that in just a minute. But the other one I'm working on is this one and it's called Lena's Fancy. It's by Vintage Needle Arts. I bought this back when I got into cross stitching. Um, I think it was her grandmother's brooch and she um, charted it and made it into a large brooch anyway and then that's what I was working on this morning I'm doing this for my daughter Evangeline she wants this in her room I what is this called it's an even weave Lugana I think and it's fog from picture this plus and y'all the lighting is terrible because we have had rain upon rain upon rain upon rain and it's so depressing um but anyway, so that's where I am. This is a giant flower right here that I've just started on. I can't wait to get this done. I love it. It's gonna be cool. And the other thing that I have been working on recently is now a finish. And I will show that to you. This is from Beth Twist Heartstring Samplery. It's called the Coffee Bean Sampler. And it took me a while because I had to rechart all of this with my name. And like here it says Beth Twist and here it says B Twist. Um, so I had to get that in order before I could finish it. But I finished it yesterday. I put my last stitch in and I did this on Picture This 40 Count Picture This Plus Ren. And you're not going to be able to see the true colors, but oh, I love it. This has so many colors from my, um, that I use for my wedding. Caramels and chocolates and golds. I just love it. And I can't wait to take it and get it framed. I don't know if everything's showing up backwards for you like it is for me. And I apologize if it is. Okay. The other whip that I have is... Um, I told you I'm part of the Tudor Rose Sampler Guild, and as a gift, um, Janine from The Blue Flower gave us this for our 20th anniversary. It's the um, Tudor B, and I was working on that on our trip to Kansas to see my father-in-law, 
who is doing well, by the way, is at home, thankfully, since he's, you know, recovering from triple bypass surgery. And that is where I am. I'm just getting the outline and just starting on the flowers. I am stitching this on Color in Cotton Luna. It's a really soft blue. Yeah, 36 count Luna. It's really beautiful. Um, so my father-in-law's doing well. They haven't decided on when they're gonna do his cancer surgery. Um, and then my father, his surgery is scheduled for April 20th. And as long as he doesn't get sick, they're so far are um, sticking with that date. So we're just trying to stay away so that he stays healthy. Um, another whip, Ann Roberts from Hands Across the Sea. Oops, can't remember if I showed you all this last time. I love this. I can't wait to get back to it. I want to finish my March squares for, um, look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? But I did finish the border and it all met up. This is a weird camera angle. We're just going with it, guys. Oh, hey, this. I made this to go um, around above my daughter at her wedding. Above my daughter and her husband during the ceremony. And it took me forever. And she said that she didn't want it. She didn't have any place to put it. So I said, I put too much effort into that. I'm taking that home and hanging it over my bed. And this is a lovely hole right here that um, the previous owners left. I guess they had their television hung there. And instead of patching it, the drywall, like my handy dandy husband could do easily, we just have had it open for a year. So I was terrified that a bug was going to crawl on me in the middle of the night. So I taped it over with, <laughs> with washi tape. But that is where my Consider the Lilies is going to go. Right there. Because it's a nice big open space. You're only seeing half of it. Um, so that's where that's going to go. The other thing I worked on a little bit on our trip was um, by La Dee Da. It is called Love is Little. And I adore this. I got this, I think, out of the um, clearance closet at Fancy Stitches in Cleburne, Texas. I love those ladies. They're closed. Um, they were supposed to be having a big sale starting, I guess it started yesterday. So they're doing it mail order. So I need to email them and see if they have the silks that I want. But here's my lovely see-through Weeks Dye Works linen. I think it's called parchment. Um, but see, look, you totally can see me. You can see my shoulder back there. Isn't that crazy? Look. <laughs> anyway. Oh my gosh. So I love this because the colors are cuckoo crazy. Um, it's hard to tell. But it's, um, it's done with needlepoint ink silks and it says um love is little love is low love will make my spirit grow grow in peace grow in light love will do the thing that's right i love it so hopefully i will finish that um soon wherever it comes up in the whip parade i still i just have the lettering left to do on it um so We'll see when the next number boxes that get pulled for um, April. Let's see, where am I? Whoops. Finishes. Finish? I did that finish. I got this finish back from the framer, you guys. Look at this. I did it at Michael's. There's a Michael's in Hearst, and oh, she was amazing. I got a recommendation from one of the ladies in our guild, and she was incredible. Um, so professional and I couldn't believe it was Michael's anyway so I finished my 1842 saw sampler a ways back and I got it back from the framer what's so funny is you guys are seeing this glare when I walk past it it looks like there's no glass on it it's perfect it's conservation glass and there's even spacers in there so that you can see the satin stitches none of it gets squashed and it's a burl wood frame. I almost went with like an olive green colored, but I'm so glad I chose this one. Anyway, super happy with it. It's not very big. Here it is compared to my head. It's not very big, but it's perfect and it makes me happy. 
I have it by the doorway to my bed to my bedroom when I walk out and so every time I walk out of my room I see it and I smile even though it doesn't match my room at all I don't care okay now we're gonna get to the fun stuff right haul haul there's a lot so I'm trying to decide what to show you I got stuff off of stash unload oh here I'll show you these I've been looking for these um, Cozy Egg Michelle, she did this, and I saw it at one of our guild meetings. It's, can you see? It is a colonial garden, and it is so beautiful. I found that on Sash Unload. And Hollow Eden, which is an Adam and Eve, but it's Halloween-y kind of colors. And look at that snake. And then there's like a, is that a black cat? Nope. Tree, I don't know what that is, but I love it. Okay, that was Sash Unload. I'm not going in anything else. Okay. Ready? Oh, wait, but look at this Lottie Dot. Oh. Roses are red. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Sugar is sweet, and so are you. I love Lottie Dot. She's one of my favorite designers. I have lots of favorites. Okay, we'll start with this. Um, I got this for Dilly Diddly Dadly Designs. I'm gonna link it below <laughs> because I don't remember. I knew they're saying it dadly diddly. I apologize. I got these bags from her. This one holds my consider the lilies. Look at the bee. I love the bumblebee. They're so well made. And this is a notions pouch. I'm gonna use this to keep scissors and stuff, and then I can just grab the bag and put it in whatever I'm whatever I work with. And then this, sorry for the noise. She just posted these um, to her Instagram and I ran to buy them. They're thread or scissor keeps. Um, look at this one. Let's see, I should've taken them out, sorry. Primitive Bird. I am gonna take this one out. Oh, and I forgot the name of the designer. You guys are gonna kill me. This hat, cross stitch pattern designer with oh, those really cool birds. She had a cardinal one, and I totally forgot. Guys, I'm filming this on the fly because my husband happened to be out, and my kids are in their rooms because they're in trouble. <laughs> so I thought, oh, quick, I'll film. This one I love. It says pure silk. Pure silk. You can't see. And then these big scissor charms, and I love the beads. And then this one, this one's just a vintage flower, but it has a little tassel on it. And she even wrapped the tassel to keep it nice. Oh, no, she wrapped the tassel to hold the tassel together and it's sliding off. I'll have to fix that. Because it's going to come apart. I'll have to knot that better. You are not going outside. Leave the squirrels alone. My dog's in here with me. He's about to go psycho has a thing for squirrels and they taunt him. They sit in the tree right outside the door and taunt him and he can't handle it. Okay, she also sent me these sweet little floss tags. Um, so, yay, all right. I said we were doing market, let's do market. This was so not on my radar until I saw it and dreamed about it all night long I tossed and turned and tossed and turned and I kept dreaming about stitching it and framing it and hanging it right here so I bought it consider the lilies by heartstring sampler I love it I love all of these flowers and the moth and the bee skep up here and there's peacocks in there and there's a duck I know but look, there's one turkey with a tom and a hen and here's the peacocks and I just I loved it and I needed to have it and stitch it so I am going to stitch it on what did I decide on 40 count caraway from color and cotton she sent me a couple different colors um, images um, and we discussed what we thought would be best and I'm going with caraway and here are the threads I've got most of them I'm still missing two but I ordered them so 
so they will be here soon. Mom, are you okay if I watch your name? I've watched it before and it's not even playing. A little bit. Thank you. Shut the door. Sorry. My oldest is playing Tomb Raider, which is usually off limits for my small kids to watch, but she doesn't have a TV in her room because we don't allow TVs in bedrooms. And so we're just all having grace for one another. <laughs> anyway, here's the thread colors. Oh, did you guys ever read that book when you were a kid? Um, and I think this is one of the main reasons why I bought it. These lilies are stitched, well, some of them in chrysanthemum. Do you remember that book? The little girl, her name is Chrysanthemum. And her teacher says, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. I love it. Anyway, that's Chrysanthemum. And if you don't have it, good luck finding it, because I think it's probably out of print. But you should read it to your, your little ones. Be they grandbabies or other babies. Okay. Shoving that in there. Moving on. So, as you know, my really good friend um, is Christine Hollis from Hollis Hands Create. And she was so sweet in getting things for me from Market. But also she called me and said, I'm home and unpacked. And if you want to come through and pick your stuff, please come up here. So we did. My kids had fun talking to her husband, checking out his Hot Wheels collection. And I had fun buying. This isn't all from her. Some of this is... Ah. Some of this is stuff that I um, picked up elsewhere. Let's see. She had some threads that she shared with me. These were limited edition from Jill Arts. These may be older ones. I don't know. They don't have names, but they're just really pretty. I'm going to have a hard time with colors. Okay. I had to get some of these from Beth. Heartstring sampling. The bequest labels. Um, when I die, I want, upon my death, I bequeath this work of my hands to. Um, so I got the angels. Let's see. Um, Annie B's folk art. I got the little pink houses. Love this. Love this. <coughs> the blackberry rabbit. The visitor. Um, doesn't that look good with that? It does. It's going to get stitched and it's going to hang right there. See? Um, coffee first. You guys know I love coffee. That's why I finished the coffee bean sampler. We're stitching this all together. Whoever wants to join us. Christine and I are hosting a sal. Berry Bowl sal, I think is the hashtag. Um, because this is amazing. And I'm going to stitch it on two pieces of linen like this. I think I'm going to use Ren. The called for is... Um, Wren and Heartland, but I don't like Heartland, so I think I might do Wren and Fawn or Sand. I'm not sure yet, um, so I will let you know. Join us, please, because this is about friends to me. That's what I see. This is about friendship, and we have a great community. So if you're interested in joining us, let me know. Tell me in below, and we'll stitch it together. A token for my friend, Heartstring Samplery, and Sewn in Friendship from the Plum Street. I'm not sure how I'm going to stitch those. I may stitch them together. Or I may just do two pin cushions and put them in a variable to put dough bowl together. I got one of these cool kits from Lindy Stitches. Sorry. Strutting Tom. It even comes with the little pins. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I can't wait to sit that. Spring delivery. I think this is an old one, but I could be wrong. Friend of Gervais. Um, Christine has started um, giving these with her orders. They're project cards. You put your chart information and fabric information and when you started it and, and tuck it in your project bag and then when you finish it, um, and it has her Hollis Hands Create on the back. And when you finish it, you know what you used. Instead of being sitting here like we all do and go, ah, I don't know what this linen is. It's a mystery linen. This was an older one that I picked up from her. Um, it's Grant's House by Chessie and Me. 
This one was also older. Summer House Stitch Works, The Gift That Keeps Giving. I love all that red work. And we all have to have a red sampler going. It's a rule. I'm gonna get a space. 1840, this is the Biederman Sampler by Nina Wart Press. This is an older one as well, but I love it. It reminds me of the Quaker Garden. Is that what it's called by Blackbird? A Quaker Welcome by Lila Studio. This is a Nashville release. Had to get that. Love the pineapple and the big droopy tree and the little pink house. I want to start this one now. Jane Conaway by the Scarlet House. Look at those butterflies. Love it. Oh, Joyous Day, Blackbird. Love this pear and these giant flowers down here. Sewing Club, Blackbird. It's also a rule. You have to uh, um, buy Blackbird books. Sorry. <laughs> and um, his eyes on the sparrow because... These are limited runs, and if I ever wanted to stitch it, I knew I wanted to stitch it in book format because that's so much easier than all those little pieces of paper. And I just love it. I mean, I bought the Colossal Lilies, so I need to have the Sparrow one to go with it. They're worth much more as a pair, right? <laughs> I also got um, the cookbook from this year. I bought the cookbook from, sorry, cookbook from last year. Um, I swear I'm not drinking. And there's tons of little cute patterns in here, and I just knew I needed it. Um, that was kind of random and all over the place, and I apologize for that. That's just how my brain is right now. I'm, I just wanted to get on and say hi and tell everybody how comforting it has been to look at your Instagrams and sort of see some normalcy in life. Um, and... I mean, I know that we're all struggling and I'm so thankful for when we're staying home and finding solace in our stitching instead of going out and creating more problems for other people. Um, be sure to check out the hashtag be well and stitch. So many wonderful designers are designing and offering small designs for free or big designs. The blue flowers, amazing. Let your joy be, uh, let joy be uncontained. I think it's beautiful. Um, so I'm thankful for that. Oh, I just realized this is fun. You totally won't be able to see. This is one of the new releases from Picture This Plus. And this was my monthly floss club. I mean, fabric of the month from Picture This Plus through Crazy Annie's. This one's Rubius. Rubius Hagrid. And this one's Brandle, Bramble, which is one of my favorite neutrals. I stitched um, Bless Our Land on that Bramble. So that's it for me. Sorry this has been so chaotic. Um, this right here is by And Other Adventures Co. You can find her on Instagram. And she does these as kits. I was fortunate I got to take an in-person class with her where she taught these stitches. The French knots and um, the spiral stitches and lazy daisies and all that stuff. But um, she sells that it comes already on the frame if you buy one of the kits with the DMC and the patterns drawn on there. And then you can just finish it off and that's what I did. Ooh, see, I have threads. I just finished off with felt on the back. But um, check her out. I know she had some of her pattern, digital patterns for a dollar. Um, but if you buy, she's got kits too. That's all I gotta say. Sorry for the chaos. Um, be well and stitch y'all and hopefully, um, I'll see you guys, some of you, at the Texas Stitching Retreat, which has been moved to June. So, bye-bye.